Abraham. The book of Genesis 12 of 1 begins with a wild disjunctive in the Hebrew text translated as now. It introduces an independent circumstantial clause. Probably something which is revealed that has been happening in the Ur of Chaldeans. What was happening in the Ur of Chaldeans? Abraham comes from a family where they were worshipping idols. Abraham comes from a family where the father believed in idolatry. Abraham comes from a family whereby God was not even called in their family. Abraham did not come from a royal family. Abraham did not come from a family where they used to wake up in the morning and have morning devotions. No, Abraham came from a place for them to succeed. They have to consult a medium. For them to make it in life, they have to consult a medium. I want to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, that text is a wake-up call to all of us this week that the Lord has brought yet another time a message of stewardship. We said stewardship is Christianity and Christianity is stewardship. Abraham was called to leave behind everything he loved, everything that he thought had shaped his life up to this point. Can you imagine being called to leave everything that you love? You are even told to leave your father, your family. Abraham, my brothers and sisters, was ordered to leave three things. Number one, Abraham was told to leave his region, his home country. Leave it and go. Number two, he was told to leave his religion. The religion they were worshipping was the idolatry. He was told to leave it. Abraham was told to leave his relatives. He was called to follow. He was called to walk with God by faith. Walking with God by faith is putting God first in everything. My dear brothers and sisters, I don't know if you can remember the time you were told to leave everything. I don't know. But I have a testimony to tell you. When I met Jesus in my life, I had to choose between serving the Lord or serving the masters of the world. In my hand, I had an appointment letter which was giving me a job as a KRA officer in Embu branch, earning a salary of 50,000 Kenyan shillings. And I had on the other side an opportunity to go and study theology in Bugema University. Which one would you have chosen? And you have stayed for close to seven good years without money in your pocket, hustling, jumping up and down, living a life of drugs and substance abuse. And here, a job has presented itself. We went to school. We wanted white-collar jobs. I had every reason to pick that job. But do you know what I did? This is a true testimony. I told the bearer of the letter, kindly, I will not pick it because I have this letter. You know, when, when, when the Lord wants you to do something, the devil will present something to distract you in the form of a blessing. People called me mad. They told me, Dennis, I think Ilebangi Umevuta, the kind of marijuana you are taking, must have made you kichwa imarbika. Because I dropped the job and I gave them an advice. I have a cousin who has finished school. Can't you give that cousin that job? They gave that cousin the job. He's still there. And he's doing it better. But I believe if I would have taken that job, I would not be there. Thanks to God. I had to leave something. Abraham left three things. His region, his religion, and his relatives. My dear brothers and sisters, walking with God by faith calls for sacrifice. To follow God with faith and a future, he had to leave the religion. He had to leave the religion and he had to leave the relatives. The Old Testament scholar by the name Walter Brueggemann says that there is a tension between God's providence and God's election. In this text he says, God providentially cares for everybody. It's the nature of God. 
to take care of everybody. This regard, it doesn't matter where you come from. God will always take care of you. But Brueggemann says, he let the sun shine on the just as well as to the unjust. Though God providentially cares for everybody, but he elects, the Lord elects to care providentially for some people in this society. And that is Abraham.